Hello guys, in this video, we'll learn to build declarative UI applications in ROS. We'll use Aslint to seamlessly build GUIs for embedded, desktop, and mobile applications. Before we get our hands dirty and actually start playing with Aslint, let's discuss what is declarative UI, how it works, how Aslint works. So there is lots to cover in this video. Make sure you stick around and watch till the end. And if you're new to this channel, there's a link to my Discord in description. So make sure you join it. Here is how an example Aslint declarative UI looks like. So you kind of express what you want to build. We'll get into these details later. But basically, you express what you want to build and it's rendered for you. This is kind of similar to, you know, frameworks for front-end engineering if you have used React, uh, Swift or Flutter. This is kind of same how you build UI using those frameworks or any other declarative UI frameworks that you have used. Now let's look at how the workflow for declarative UI looks like. So in your code, you declare how your UI should look like, what should ha happen uh, on a click or what are the actions that you are allowed to perform. And then your basically a tree, your UI tree is automatically generated and then renderer draws your UI and then user sees your interface. But what happens when the data changes or state changes basically you know something is click you want to redraw so there is a reactive system which keeps on you know uh, kind of observing the behavior and automatically updates your ui tree and a renderer again redraws the ui and user sees your interface so this is how a typical declarative ui application looks like let's look at how aslint works with rust so starting from the left we have our dot aslint file or the inline UI in macros. So in macros, we can add our uh, UI just like how we'll uh, add in the SLN file, just as we saw in this example. And then SLN compiler will build, like generate the UI code for us. It will be Rust UI code. And we have our Rust app up and running. And what happens is we have an app state and model. So basically there is an SLN runtime and event loop so in case of any changes or anything you know we want to listen to the user inputs and we want to redraw the ui we want to make all those changes those all changes are managed right here in this part and then we have a renderer to render our uh, ui and that's how our excellent application with rust works let's dive a bit more as we try to understand how excellent the declarative ui works with rust so starting from build time, we have our Aslint UI or the macro where we, you know, declare how our UI should look like. Then we have Aslint compiler that turns the declarative UI in our Rust code, you know, all the generated Rust trucks and bindings. And then we move to the runtime. Now runtime owns the component tree, dependency graph and the event loop. So as you can see right here, we have the component tree and reactive bindings for, you know, all those changes, events. And then we have right here, we have our renderer, which basically draws efficiently with all the backend and everything. Uh, so our application is ready and now it's shown to the user. So this is exactly how we have our uh, Slint application up and running. Enough of the talks, let's move to Slint path and explore a bit on declarative UI. Right here on the left, we have our preview. And on the right, we have our declarative Aslint file. On the top, we have our imports from standard widgets.aslint. And then we have a component. And if we want to visualize how the uh, tree looks like, as you can see, we have demo component inside. We have a vertical box, a text box, an about Aslint, and a horizontal layout with a button. And then uh, right here we have a components library where we can see what different components we have so these are all different components that we can use uh, you can just check here so let's say we want to use a checkbox or we want to use a, we want to remove this and we want to i don't know maybe change the color to uh, red and similarly we want to add a combo box so these are all different uh, components that we can build and then again we can play with the css like font or uh, i don't know uh, maybe color we already changed we can change the font family 
and different other things that you want to play with we can add or experiment here once you have the project template this is how the structure looks like as we speak uh, we have pretty much default rust project where we have a man and then we have a ui folder where we have our first component which is just a hello world and then right here we have a build rs that helps compile your aslint and do all the generations and right here as you can see the path is towards the file that we have is app window so right here in the main rs we are using our component and just rendering it let's don't touch it for now and you know let's let's go ahead and run it and to run pretty straightforward in the root of your project just do a cargo run here's how our first hello world excellent declarative ui application and rust looks like uh, pretty basic and straightforward now what i want you guys to do we already saw the components library i'll attach the link to the excellent plant try to explore it on your end and let me know in the comment uh, what do you guys think about it and is it something you want to try out as well so explore it on your end we'll also you know in future videos cover mobile application and also the deployment platforms so i'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic until then bye bye